So there are different type of uh, bars and charts that you can choose in uh, um, uh, Microsoft Excel. So what you can do is create a chart. So let's select this right here. I'm going to go into insert this time and you can go to recommended charts. So once you go inside there, you can see that there are a lot of charts that you can choose from. But over here, you can also go to all charts. So you can see that you can you have the column chart that we have been using. You also got a 3D column chart over here, which you can use just like that. There are also line charts that you can use, as you can see. So you can choose different type of line charts from over here. So this gives a bit of a 3D look if you are seeking attention. So you can press this and press OK. But that is not uh, actually very clear. But anyways, creates an interesting effect right there. You can also go to change chart type right here and it goes back in. So I can choose pie chart. In this case, pie chart does not really do good because like it only shows one data. For example, this only shows one data right here. This is multiple data right there, one data and so forth. So you can see that if I were to choose this, you do not really see of all companies right there. This is actually good for this data right here. There's another bar chart. Yeah, that is the sideways bar chart right there. Again, 3D looks are there. There's the area chart, right? You can see that you have a sort of an area right there. There's the XY dotted chart right there. There's the map, map chart, just like this. This is quite simple. The stock chart, you can have different type of stock, 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 uh, stock chart, as you can see. The surface chart, which is in a 3D-like state, just like this. This radar chart, as you can see right here, looks interesting. There's tree map, uh, chart right there it utilizes the space in an interesting way the sunburst chart as you can see there's histogram chart looks like this so there's a histogram chart there's a box with whisker chart which is unusual that's the waterfall chart that's the funnel chart so looks like this and the combo chart just like here so you can see that this is how you, you can also have secondary access and so forth so i can choose the type of chart that i want for example if i want the line chart Simply select that out and press OK and there you go, the line chart. So you can also switch rows for columns. For example, right now you can see the laptop, desktop, tablet and phone right here. If you had to switch rows for columns, then you get the data now. That's the laptop, desktop, tablet and phone. Then you get this one right here, Apple, Samsung and Xiaomi. So you, you can see that the Apple products are more expensive than Samsung and Xiaomi uh, lies at the end. So that is how you can choose different type of charts inside of Microsoft Excel. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.